think you never know with the Jura. Hey, it, it's Harlem Globetrotters sort of style footy. It's it's sevens on a fifteens field, and you know for them they're a team that they always come alive when the playoffs are happening. They're not afraid to throw the ball behind their posts, and they'll run eighty and score on you. So you know that it does. It does and doesn't surprise me a little bit. They take their opportunities and they were able to capitalise on certain mistakes that the Waratahs made last weekend. And I think for me, it just shows that you can never write them off. Obviously, they they came in at fourth place, but they're definitely a team that that rallies when that when the pressure's on and when the ball comes alive. They're always there and charging through in those support lines. Yeah, it was very tough. It, it didn't quite go to the plan that we wanted, but all respect to the Brumbies, mate, they came out to play and they came out to win it. They had a style of footy that they felt that they needed to get through in the first 20 to 40 minutes. Um, we were just good enough to recognise that they were running out of gas and that the second half was really where we could play our footy and win it. And as it turned out, we, we put on two good tries in the second half through uh, Helena Young and then got a couple of penalty, penalty goals, sorry, to, to win it. Shifted to the right here, Dallinger loops a long ball over for Young. Here she goes, weaving in and out, stepping on the inside. Oh, she's left them for dead. How about the afterburners on this young lady? Hit him with the feed. The ball comes out, takes it herself, goes to the line and goes right through. In open pastures here, it's got one to beat. Links up with Young again. Oh, Young and the restless. It was pretty crazy as soon as that final whistle um, went, especially because the knock-on happened on my edge too. So as soon as that ball went forward, I kind of knew that it was it, like game's over, like we got the job done. So it's pretty exciting to kind of just turn around and look at everyone and just feel like we finally did it, like we're actually into the grand final. Going into a grand final, I, I think you don't want to have an easy game. You want to have a tough game to test your medal, and we certainly got that. So the girls are really, they believe now, they know they can play 84 minutes and win a game of footy, and I think we're going to have to against uh, Fijiana on Saturday. I think for us it was a bit of a relief, I think to be honest. It was probably one of the most nervous matches in terms of the, the atmosphere around players that I've been a part of, and I think for us it was... We know we can do it, we've just got to go out there and do it. We've put in all the hard yards, we're fine at that big dance and now we get to there this week, there is no next week. So it's sort of get there on Saturday afternoon and, and put everything out there on the paddock and you know, one team's going to be a winner and one's going to be a loser. Probably get emotional. Um. I, jeez, I love Queensland. Um, every year, every chance I get to play on and represent Queensland, so I'm pretty special. I don't take it for granted. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked. I love playing for this state, um, representing friends and family. So yeah, it'll be pretty big. Um, obviously playing in all those grand finals and missing out. So hopefully we can get the job done this year and um, just to bring the trophy back. We know we're a good team um, and we know we can compete, so yeah. I think putting on the Queensland jersey is definitely, I don't know, a big moment. Like I'm really proud to be, I don't know, one of the select you to be able to put on that jersey <laughs> it's really emotional <laughs> i think in previous years i didn't realize like um 
the worth of the jersey. I think I definitely took it for granted. I think coming back now, like I have a lot more pride to put on the jersey. There's a lot of people that support you and like are behind you. So I think when you go out on that field, it's definitely all for them. The job's not done yet. Uh, we started this in late October, early November, and I said to them, it's a, a job all the way through to the middle of May. So essentially from now, we've got 72 hours of, of footy together to get the job done. So that'll be part of my talk to the girls tonight. We know it's not gonna be easy playing um, the Fiji girls, but I think that's what we're excited for. We're not, we haven't played our best footy yet and we know that to beat the Drua this weekend we have to play our best footy and this is it for us. Like this is the last game of the season. We've done all the work, we've made it to this point. Now it's just to get out there, play our best footy to beat them. Yeah, it's going to be a, a massive effort. Obviously, grand finals don't come around every day and I think the squad has worked exceptionally hard both on and off the field to, to get ourselves in a good position for Saturday night. So I think for us, the, the biggest thing is going to be winning those crucial moments and making sure we don't sort of have a negative action into a negative action. It's more about having a negative action into a positive action. So I think for us, if we can control those crucial moments in the game, um, we'll be on the right side of the scoreboard on Saturday afternoon. Rinse on three, one, two, three, Red. Red. Let's go! Got it. Oh,